Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining me today. Today is the final day of this build. I know it looks like we have a lot left to do, but we really don't. All we have left to do today is sand down these boards that we have the first coat of polyurethane on already, put the last coat on it, a couple pieces of trim, and we're done. So, stay with me, I'll show you what we're doing. We're now ready to go ahead and sand off all these shelves and all the areas that we went and put the polyurethane on the bookshelf yesterday. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm using a power sander. You want to remember when you're doing this, it's only a really light sand across it. I'm doing this because I can do it quickly and efficiently this way. You may want to try to go and do it by hand. Uh, you don't want to get aggressive. You want to use a really fine grit. I'm using a 320 grit on the palm sander. You want to use a real fine grit. All you're trying to do is take that sandy, gritty type feel off the tops of these shelves and off of the surfaces where you're going to be putting the next coat. Now something else that you're going to want to consider is if you're working inside in an area that you don't want dust all over the place, you may want to go ahead and put a box fan in the window to help pull the air past what you're doing and right out the window so it doesn't go and settle in other places of the house. I'm going to go ahead and get started. sanding is done, we're going to go ahead, get everything wiped down, get all the dust off of here, and get ready for the second coat of polyurethane. Now we're ready to go ahead and put the second coat on. Now that these shelves are all dry, we're ready to start putting the bracketry on that's going to hold these covers over the voids that we have uh, in between each set of shelves. So we're using these angle brackets, uh, mounting them in here. So when we mount that in there, we're going to be putting a regular brick magnet on it. Now on the inside of the piece of, uh, cover of wood on the cover plate, which this is a piece of, we're going to be gluing these rare earth magnets that I have stuck on here for right now. The reason I have these on here is I'm using this as a, as a gauge, so when I mount these permanently inside, I make sure that it's tight to the inside of the wood. Here's a close-up of what I'm trying to accomplish. I have a piece of wood that is the same size as the fronts that are going to be on, at least the same uh, width, that is. Now I have this on here. I put this up tight against the front where the face is going to sit, and I take and I slide this up tight to the back of it. I center this, and I slide it up tight to the back. So I know where to mount this in here so that there's just the right amount of space so these rare earth magnets which will be attached to the oak front will get the maximum amount of pull to this bar magnet right in here. So now I know that's where that one needs to be attached. We're going to go ahead and clean out these holes. We're going to use the drill with the same bit that we used to drill the holes, but we're going to be running the drill in reverse. We're going to go ahead and put these brackets in now. My wife just texted me. She's heading home from her vacation, and she's about an hour out, and i got about an hour left. I want to see if I can get this done for her by the time she gets home. It'll be a nice little surprise.
Now we're getting ready to put the magnets on the back sides of the cover plates for all these voids that we have up here. I have it marked on which side goes up, and on the magnets I have them marked as which one's the north and which one's the south on the magnet. So, I'm going to go ahead and get the magnets and start gluing them on here. The glue's all dry now and we're getting close to the wire. They're a half hour out and I got about a half hour worth of trim work left. So hopefully these are going to stick the way they need to. Now it's an all out race to get this done before they get home. I got eight pieces of trim left and about 20 minutes to get it done. Shelf. Uh, I'm rushing to finish by the time you get home. I want to be done. So you're going to be home shortly, and I'm going to be done shortly. I'm hoping to have it all done for su for surprise, just so you can see it. I know. I'm, I'm pushing. It's like a reality TV show. Just I don't get paid lots and lots of money to be on it. Love ya. Bye bye. That was the wife. So she knows I'm Russian. Okay, we're done. Everything's done. The faces are on, the adjustable shelves are on, the putty's in, the uh, shelves are uh, polyurethane. We're done. Everything's finished. I have to hurry and get my tools picked up. My wife is five minutes from home, and I want to have it all picked up by the time she gets here. So thanks for joining me, guys. I appreciate you coming along on this adventure, and I hope to see you soon on my next one. Until then, guys, bye-bye. I literally just finished. Wow. Yeah, wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow, those are nice, Dan. Very nice. That's really big. Bigger than the other. Got a little storage now. Yeah. <laughs> wow. How long did it take you? Two days or? I literally just finished it. And when did you start it? The minute you guys left. Oh, really? Yep. Wow. I had to move everything out of here, get Plus the bookshelf moved. Right? Plus you were working, right? Plus I was working. Awesome job. Yeah. Okay. I think you're excited to see me or something. <laughs> it's like you've been gone for a whole week or something. My goodness. <laughs>